Yummy, yummy. <laughs> Good afternoon people, welcome back to another video. I believe this is episode four of I'll Be For Prep, episode four or five, I'm losing track now just because of the Gymshark and body power videos. Um, I've just finished work, as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful day once again, I'm seeming to say that in every video at the moment. Um, let's make some protein pancakes. <music> So we have forgot the camera, so we are now on the iPhone, so we're gonna have to deal with that. We have just arrived at the gym with Cameroon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have a leg session in the bag, so we have brought the squat shoes with us. We also have some ghost pre-workout that we're gonna have. We're not gonna have a full scoop because I do wanna sleep tonight, and it is eight o'clock, so we're gonna have half a scoop, maybe three quarters, uh, see how that does, but hopefully that'll get us through the session. So yeah, enjoy the workout. It's gonna be on my phone, so. Apologies for the camera, but oh well. So that is the session complete. Uh, so a really good leg, leg session with Cam. We hit squats, as you would have seen, front squats as well. Tried them out for the first time actually. Um, and surprisingly, my mobility was quite good and they did feel quite good as well. So I'm probably gonna incorporate them more into my workouts. Um, and then we finished up with a super set of one minute on the rower with weighted lunges for a minute. And then we did four rounds of that constantly without any break. Um, so that really did kill me. Then we finished up with some abs as well. I'm just back home now. We're going to make up about 350 grams of chicken breast with some Nando's marinade, as I usually do. And then we're going to be having about, I don't know, 50 grams of rice. Um, a little bit lower rice than normal, just because I'm reaching my carb limit for today. So yeah, just going to make this food now. And then going to relax, play some Fortnite, and then head to work tomorrow. So I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. Good morning people, today is Wednesday, meaning that today is day 17 of our beef and prep. This morning I've just got up, the time is currently half past nine, I'm starting a bit later at work today just because David has gone to drop Ethan off at school, uh, so on a Wednesday I always start a bit later. Uh, so this morning we're going to have either one or two bagels, I haven't decided yet, and four eggs. Um, so that is going to be breakfast and then we're going to have lunch maybe a little bit later because yesterday I had lunch quite early, I had lunch at about 11 o'clock and then I was starving by the time that I finished work. So I'm gonna try and push my meals back ever so slightly today. Then I'll be seeing my dad at about half four when I finish work. Um, that'd be nice, we'll go for coffee and potentially get something sorted, which would be exciting. So yeah, stay tuned. 
Boom, so breakfast is served, four eggs on a bagel, opted for one bagel just because I kind of want to keep the carbs down a little bit. Change of plan, whoa, I've just finished work and I'm no longer seeing my dad so the potential surprise thing is not going to be in this video. Me, Mum and David are going to head to Weatherspoons, I think, for dinner. Um, grab something semi-small, seeing as I am on this cut. But I am working with fit your macros kind of thing at the moment. So pretty much anything that will fit into my macros, I will eat. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I've just finished up with a workout. As you can see here, I actually mixed some creatine with my ghost pre-workout. So my protein creatine, watermelon flavored with lemon and lime ghost pre-workout and actually worked a treat. I've done it for the past two days now. Um, it actually tastes quite nice. It just tastes very watermelony. Um, and I was absolutely pumped throughout the whole session. Get, kept me going throughout the whole session, kept my energy nice and high. So I highly recommend doing that now. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go for a kickabout now with Cam. We've got the football with us. Um, just a bit more cardio, burn a few more cows. Right, so I've just arrived back from playing football with Cam. My food is in the oven. We're going to be having more chicken and rice. However, I have just bought this from Asda. It is a PhD protein bar. Never tried it before, so I'm going to try this on camera and give you a kind of review of it. Right, so cookies and cream flavoured. Focus. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> That's the best one I've had. <coughs> That's better than the grenade ones. Not as powdery. More chocolate, it's actually got some caramel in it as well. Lovely, mate. Right, good morning people. Today is Friday. Um, I am currently driving down to Birmingham, uh, so I thought I'd just take the opportunity to set up the camera and kind of just talk for a bit whilst I drive because I've got nothing else to do, I might as well talk to myself for a bit. So, on Tuesday, I hit one year of being on YouTube. So, one whole year of making videos, um, creating content for you guys, uploading, I don't know, once or twice a week. Um, however, at the start of when I started doing YouTube, I didn't upload once or twice a week, but now I am. Um, and I actually can't believe where I am at the moment, to be honest. Uh, apologies if you can't hear me, it is quite loud in here, and it is absolutely chuffing it down. Um, so yeah, one year later, I am at 1.3K subscribers, soon to be 1.4K. Um, and part of bulk powders, um, obviously, as you guys would know, because I made a video on that, um, helping Cam build up his um, clothing brand, which is Build an Engine, which you would have seen that in one of my videos. And I've actually got a huge announcement on, well, potentially next week when I do reach one year. Uh, so I'll probably do a one year video and then I'll probably do an announcement video either before or after that. I'm not sure, but make sure you follow my Instagram as well. I keep everyone up to date with stuff on Instagram, so make sure you follow it. It's at Tomro underscore fitness. I'm gonna really try and build up my fitness uh, Instagram now from now on just because it just makes life easier and then people that actually want to see fitness can follow that. Um, so yeah, one year on Tuesday, which is bonkers. I never ever thought I'd be in this position. Starting up YouTube, I kind of did it to kill a bit of time really, have a bit of fun. Um, I've always been into photography, so I thought, why not? Let's make a video. I made a video. It was actually my sister's 21st birthday. We were in London. Um, and that was my London vlog. You'll be able to see that on the channel. That is the first ever video uploaded. However, I do class my first ever vlog 
kind of video as the one that I did at Slaley Hall, which is like my introduction video. So that's what we're going off as our, as our one year, um, kind of one year on YouTube is going off that video, not the London one. Um, so yeah, 1.3K subscribers later, never ever ever thought I'd be in this position. It's crazy just because I was just doing it for a bit of fun. I've now got people messaging me, telling me that I'm inspiration for them. People telling me that I'm inspiring them to do work, inspiring them to um, kind of balance their lifestyle with university and social life. Um, so balancing training, um, university obviously, YouTube, social life, um, and then obviously seeing your family as well. Um, I personally do find it quite difficult balancing one of it, but I do get it done eventually. Um, I guess just routine is probably the way forward for that. So yeah, I just want to thank everyone for supporting me throughout this whole year. Um, I just want to thank my family as well, just because the sound and they have helped along the way. Um, obviously, I wouldn't be in this position if I hadn't pushed myself at the start. Starting up YouTube was very difficult, I felt. Uh, building up the confidence to actually be able to pick up the camera and talk to it was very hard. The introduction video that I actually did, I filmed that talking clip probably about eight times. So about a three minute, four minute clip. It took me about eight times to film that just because I was so nervous, I was scared what people would think about me, I wanted to let, make sure that I looked good, all them factors went into play. Um, I actually moved around several places around the kind of garden area just so that my parents and my family couldn't actually see me filming as well because I felt embarrassed filming myself, um, but now I walk around with a camera in public talking to a camera. and. No one really cares, to be honest. Well, people do care, but people look at me a bit weirdly, but I don't really care. Because I'm just doing my thing on I don't really need. I don't really need other people's opinion if it's not gonna be a positive one. Um, and maybe criticism, it would be good to help me develop. But I don't really care people taking this out of me because I'm just doing my thing. Um, I am definitely getting more confident at the moment. I've noticed myself getting much more comfortable talking to the camera. Probably just because recently I've been bashing out quite a few videos I've been doing, I don't know, two or three videos a week. And they've been absolutely flying. I've been getting 400, 500 views per video at the moment. Um, I'm even hitting like 300 views after like a day, which is bonkers, because usually I'd be happy if I hit 200 views after two days. Um, so I'm really appreciative of that. I'm gonna try and not be too clickbaity. As you can probably tell, I'm getting a bit clickbaity. Um, but that's just because obviously I need to reach, I need to push my content out to viewers. I want people to view my video and therefore I need to create titles and thumbnails that are gonna attract people to watch the videos. So apologies if you find it too clickbaity. I feel like this video is gonna be probably counting down the days or we're a few days away just because we're getting so close to reaching a year so technically this wouldn't actually be clickbait um we yeah, are having a sick time at the moment i can't wait to make more content throughout the summer i'm really going to focus on building up my instagram and my youtube throughout the summer just because i've got a bit of spare time now that i'm at university um ibifa it's going to be great. Uh, my cut is going quite well actually. I'm, I think today is day 19 uh, in, in the cut. So I've dropped, well it kind of, it's kind of varying a bit at the moment, it's fluctuating a bit. Uh, but I'm drop, I've dropped around 3 kg so far. So I've been dieting for over two weeks now. Coming up to three weeks on Monday. Um, and then we've got seven weeks left because it's a 10 week cut. Uh, so hopefully we won't drop too much weight because that's not what we want, we want to be dropping. I uh, just want to get leaner but try and hold the weight um, so we don't get too skinny and we don't lose too much strength and size. Uh, but yeah, that's probably going to be it from me today just because I'll run out of things to say or I'll have a talk forever. 
because once I get started talking about YouTube and fitness, I do not stop talking because I love it so much. Uh, so yeah, thank you for listening. If you are at this stage of the video, I'm probably going to make this video very, very raw. This clip is probably what's well, eight minutes long at the moment. I'm probably going to leave it eight minutes long because you know what? I feel like talking to the camera for a bit. I don't talk to the camera much, as in I don't sit down properly and talk about how I feel to the camera. It's usually just, oh, I'm, just, I'm eating this now, I'm going to the train, um, and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave this clip in. Apologies if it's making the video quite long, but we're going to have to deal with it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you when we reach one year. So yeah, peace out, thank you. Subscribe to Thomas Roundtree, legend. Yeah.